guys this is dr ranjit so welcome back to the channel with one more video of a tiny case today and let's discuss about this patient who had an history of dysphagia and an esophageal biopsy was done there was a classical endoscopic finding in this case and i want you to comment on this after we discuss about the diagnosis of this case right so it's just a superficial biopsy of the esophagus uh, it's a 10x image what you're seeing here let me go to a little bit of higher power, right? This is a 20x image. If you see here, you can definitely see few classical cells here, right? I want you to comment on these particular cells. Uh, there are quite a few of them, like four or five of them clustered here and a couple of them here. And there are lots of things here, right? I'm sure you'll be, you'll be able to diagnose what cell it is with the help of the granules you see there. And that's actually an inflammatory cell. If you concentrate on these areas, are you able to appreciate the pink granular cytoplasm? If it's a pink granular cytoplasm in an esophagus or in anywhere, I'm going to call that an eosinophil. So I do see lots of eosinophils inside the epithelium of this eosophagus. I might slide down here. See here, there are clusters of eosinophils, right? It's filled with eosinophils, right? So I have two questions for you here, guys. I want you to comment on the diagnostic criteria when can I call this patient as suffering from eosinophilic esophagitis? That's my first question. And when and what will be the endoscopic finding of the same patient who suffered from eosinophilic esophagitis? Fine. Hopefully, we'll be uh, learning more cases like this. We'll go with real cases, right? So, let's learn how to look at the low power hyper and everything. Fine. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.